Did you know that artificial meat is now ranked as the most important trend in tech? This was according to Eric Smith, executive director of Google's parent company Alphabet. Smith argues that replacing livestock with artificial meat would reduce greenhouse gas emissions and fight climate change. This is because animal agriculture is the leading cause of climate change as well as species extinction, ocean dead zones, water pollution and habitat destruction. In short, meat production is extremely inefficient. For example, it takes 20,000 litres of water to produce a single kilogram of beef. And with global meat demand predicted to increase 73% by 2050 due to increasing wealth in countries like China and India, other projects and avenues will clearly need to arise. For decades, people have attempted to make artificial meat, but the appeal has been limited because the imitation has never been that convincing. But recently, there's been a meat replacement food tech revolution. Instead of trying to take a product like tofu and pass it off as real meat like before, companies are now figuring out what makes meat taste like meat and are then rebuilding it from the molecular level using plants. And the results have been staggering. In 2013, Bill Gates couldn't tell the difference between real chicken and Beyond Meat's chicken substitute. Beyond Meat are a company that were founded in 2009 and their investors include high profile figures such as Twitter executive director Biz Stone. Impossible Foods are a similar company, also working on building meat from the ground up using plants. They've already been a huge success and in 2015 even turned down a $300 million offer by Google. They launched their first burger in July this year, which was received extremely well, with burger snobs saying it was close enough and good enough to a real meat burger. Lab-grown meat is another type of artificial meat. This technique consists of harvesting a small sample of muscle tissue from an animal. Individual cells are separated and then placed into a culture where they start dividing and growing before being layered together to form meat patties. In 2013, the world's first lab-grown burger was unveiled to the world by Dr. Mark Post from the University of Maastricht in the Netherlands, but it carried a tremendous price tag of 250,000 euros. A little over two years later, Mark Post and his team came back with a burger being produced for a mere $11. However, although exciting, techniques to scale production up will need to be doubled and the taste will need to be improved also because it was considered to be a bit dry. Other groups doing similar work include companies Modern Meadow and Supermeat. Because lab-grown meat uses cells from animals, there are some critics, for example, who argue that this industry is unnecessary and doesn't challenge the social norm that eating meat is natural. They argue that plant-based meats which have moved beyond theory and into commercial production are a better solution. That said, whether it's imitation meat from plants or animal cells, it is clear that this market is trending and will continue to receive widespread media attention. By the year 2020, the meat substitute market is predicted to be worth over $5 billion globally and with the urgency of the climate impact and ethical concerns of the animal agricultural industries, there is a groundswell for meat alternatives to capture market share and overtake the production of traditional meat.